What's going on for people? This is Denzel the Griffin and a ghost from my past has been haunting me. By a ghost, I mean a video I did a little while back. I've been getting some nasty comments and honestly, watching the video again, I actually absolutely agree with them. So even if that video has a good amount of views, I'm deleting it and replacing it with this new one. So as an apology and a sort of self-retribution, let's do it right this time. Reflective mirror in Blender's EV as quick as possible. Let's get it. Alright, so I have my scene set up already, not to waste any time. And just hopping into render view, you can immediately see that our reflections look weird. Okay, now with my render settings, I already have ambient occlusion, bloom, and screen space reflections turned on. And screen space reflections is what helping us get that little reflection. But if we hop over to cycles, you can see that we have good reflections. So let's just hop out of that and let's change back to EV and see how we can fix this. Okay, so the solution to this is very simple. Uh, with our cursor uh, at the exact position of our plane or our mirror, we can go ahead and hit Shift A and add a reflection plane. I will just rotate that to face the direction of the mirror and we'll scale it up to about the size of the mirror or larger if you will. And now I'm hopping it back into random view. You can see that nothing actually changes. It might actually be worse. But all you need to do is move this out a little bit just so it gets past the center point of the mirror and you'll be fine. You have some parameters to play with just to better get the effect or depending on the scale of your scene. And just like that guys, we are done. I hope you enjoyed this new video and if you did, do well to hit that subscribe button, drop this video a like, go down to the comment sections and tell me all about it. But until I end up on your screens again, this is The Griffin with an apology signing out.